What is up, Leo? We're going to be doing your general timeless reading today. My name is Jordan. I'm a tarot reader and a Reiki practitioner. So if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, go ahead, book it down below through my website in the description box. I have 20% off all my services now through the end of December. So go ahead, check that out. Check out my Patreon if you want a free 15 minute reading. But Leo, let's get into it. Let's see what the goodies we have for you today. Let's use, ah, yeah, let's use Witch's Tarot. Because you sassy. I said it. You're sassy. I'm a Leo Moon, so, like, I feel you. Okay. Let's get into it. Show me what I most need to see for Leo, please, Spirit. Sun, so Moon, Venus. Jupiter and rising sign. I heard sacred partnership. Seven of swords. Wow. Okay. It's a little sneaky sneaky. A little deceptive. What do we got going on here? Hierophant. Okay, so there's the sacred partnership. Hierophant's indicative of marriage, contracts, institutions, religion. This feels like a fear of commitment. Feels like a fear of commitment. Because this is very different from other dynamics you have. Yeah, temperance, four of cups in reverse, and the queen of pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck is the four of swords. All of a sudden, my throat is really hurting. It's really weird. Okay. Um, but yeah. Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant, right? Institutions, marriage, contracts, lessons. Somebody doesn't want to learn this lesson. Then we have Temperance. It's coming in to help you open up your heart space and find more confidence in yourself. This dynamic you're going to have is going to challenge you to be vulnerable and to step into your personal power. Um, this is very common right now because everybody wants to find stability in their life. And in order to have, have stability in our external environment, we need to embody it as an individual and then it manifests externally. Okay. This is a blocked heart space. It's a distorted feminine energy. It's a feminine energy that's not ready to receive things that have a fear of not feeling safe or stable in their current environment or not secure in who they are as an individual. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Yep. Four swords underneath that is the page of cups in reverse. It's a lack of authenticity or vulnerability. It's time to open, open your heart. I'm not going to say it again. I'm not going to say it again, Leo. Okay. Rawr. Um, let's do Revelations Tarot. <sighs> okay, Leo. I keep hearing Sacred Partnership. Let's look at the Four Swords. That was nice. That was really nice. Okay. Seven of Cups and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Mm, so you're aware that you need to do some healing in this aspect. You're just struggling to surrender to actually doing the damn thing. Oh, uh, don't we all? Don't we all? Four of Pentacles in reverse is the release, and the Seven of Cups is clarity. It's understanding that it's not hidden from me. It's not distorted. It's not illusion. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just, you know, I just choose to continue doing it right now. Seven of Swords, King of Swords, yep. Knight of Cups in reverse. So no, I'm not going to express my love to you no matter how much you want me to. I'm just going to speak very bluntly, very directly about the things I want. Two of Wands, Five of Cups, the Moon, and the Chariot. You, uh, underneath bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands, the very stable foundation. Okay, so with the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords, this is the deep knowing or the very blatant, like, upfront knowing that you're walking away from something that you actually do want. And it's just kind of like, I don't want to invest in this right now. I don't want to choose this path. I don't want to open up my heart. Things have been difficult lately. I just kind of want to sulk. I want to sulk for a little bit. Five Cups. 
and the moon. I want to sit in my fields and I want to sulk. Well, Honey Bunch is about the chariots here. And so that means you got to climb on in and buckle up and get going because you got shit to do. You can't be sitting around and sulking. You can't do it. You just can't. I love you, but you can't do it. Because this is what's going to keep you stagnant. Because with the moon there, it speaks to illusions. It speaks to things that you do not see. You're not aware that things are actually speeding up around you. Because currently in your little world, in the material world, they they look and they seem very stagnant. Like I have this offer. Okay, I don't want this offer. I'm just going to go about my day to day. My 9 to 5, my job, whatever it is, right? You keep doing that. There is something very powerful coming in. And it has to do with another individual that's going to help you allow yourself to break free from your own confinement, from your own limitations, such as your self-sabotaging behavior that limits you from experiences because you're like, mm, I don't want to take that experience because, well, I'm scared of X, Y, Z, fear, false evidence appearing real. It's a self-sabotaging behavior of the ego to keep you in your current comfort zone. New experiences are going to help you grow and evolve, right? So let's see what this challenge is with the Hierophant and Temperance. I'm going to look at them together. Okay. Tell me about the Hierophant and Temperance, please. I started soon, she'll know. Knight of Swords. Okay, so now we're taking action. This is somebody coming toward you. They're, they're, this feels like a harsh truth kind of energy. It feels like, yeah, it's Ten of Swords. It's basically somebody coming in and say, cut the shit. You shouldn't be doing this anymore. Like, the, like, let's end this cycle. It's not serving you. You're at the end of it. Why are you sitting in it? Stop sitting in it. Stop sitting in it. It's done. You've done your healing. You've done it. You have completed it. Even if energetically, you don't, emotionally, you don't feel that way, you need to ask yourself, why are you still holding on to it? Because you've learned the lesson. You know what to do. You know what to do. Seven of cups in reverse. You see it really clearly. Four swords. You're done with the healing. You just need to open up your heart now. What is stopping you from doing that? What is stopping you? It's going to be different for everybody. Yeah. Seven of pentacles, strength, and the five of pentacles. It's a fear of failure and loss. Well, if I do all this work and I and I show this to this person, are they going to rip me down and then I'm not going to feel secure in who I've built up? Well, I know, listen, this was, I went through this lesson in the beginning of this year. It was the lesson of when you find your personal power, when you start to really embody all that you want to be and all that you are, right? And you start showing that to the world. If you have a fear of failure or a scarcity mindset of like, is this really going to work out? Um, or is this only going to be temporary? Am I going to lose this? Like, okay, when is this feeling going to go away? It always goes away. Like I never really feel like this all the time. You're giving your power away to other things and you need to remind yourself, you know what? I'm not going to give my power away to that. It's, it is a process. And I know at first you're going to be like, Jordan, that sounds effing stupid. It's a process because that part of you that says, Jordan, that sounds effing stupid is your ego resisting the change went through it the entire time when I was going through my very first awakening, listening to affirmations. I was like, why the F am I listening to affirmations? Like, I don't want to say these stupid, positive things about myself. That was my ego resisting to change because it did not believe those things. It's a process of reprogramming your mind to say, you know what? I worked really hard to get to where I am and it was really difficult and I'm proud of myself. And it's, it's shifting that mindset from, well, this isn't going to work out to no, like I'm going to go through all these experiences because I'm going to learn something regardless if this experience is meant for me, I'm going to gain something from this time, from this experience. It's that shift in the mindset. It's shifting your mindset from seeing things as a loss to seeing every single experience has a gain. It does. It does have a gain. All right, let's look at the four of cups. The world when you open up your heart space the cycle closes when you start to shift your consciousness when you sh start to shift your energy into one of a higher frequency of positivity of gratitude of abundance and i'm not saying you're not grateful i'm not saying you're not positive but this part of the ego this this part of you it's not all of you it's only a part of you that fears failure or feels or fears success or fears being happy right i i had that limiting belief like being happy is hard and I would ask myself, why do I believe that? Oh, because previous experiences had taught me that. It's a limiting belief to stop you from growing so big out of the fear you may fall. 
but you're supposed to grow big so you can feel how grand and amazing you are as you. It's breaking away that scared little part of you and saying, hey, I got you, like we're gonna crush, crush all this shit, like we're bomb.com. It's the shift in the mindset. It's coming out of the Ten of Swords and moving slowly towards the Ace of Cups, self-love, through the Five of Cups, mourning and releasing, all that no longer serves you, up into the Ten of Cups, right? The healthy relationships, the healthy relationship with self, right? The abundant environment, surrounded by love and peace and just really accepting that to flow through you, okay? Is it gonna be there all the time? That is on you, right? That's, that's your choice, right? Because our energy, our emotions, everything's going to ebb and flow. And we need to just allow ourselves to feel it, but not sit in it. Right now we're sitting. We don't want to sit anymore. No. Get out. Stop. You're done. You have a ten of swords. You're done. You're done with this. You've already, you, you learned these lessons. Be proud of yourself for what you've learned. Yeah. Six of swords. So you close out the cycle. Now you're like, nah, I don't know if I want to move forward yet. Because that's, that's over there. That's unfamiliar. That's outside my comfort zone. Looks a little sketchy. Can we get some uh, sanitization stations up in this bitch? Nope. You just got to go for it. Sorry. <laughs> just got to go for it. <laughs> Let's look at the Queen of Pentacles. Death. Yep. See this uh, insecure divine feminine energy? Yeah, she did. She did. She did and buried six feet deep. Toodaloo. We're confident now. We believe in ourselves now. We're not doing that anymore. Why are you still holding on to that mindset though? Why? Because it's familiar. It's what the brain is used to functioning in, right? Just because it's familiar doesn't mean it's healthy or safe. You were talking, you can ask my mother, biggest pessimistic nasty motherfucker, teenager on the planet. Horrible, horrible human being. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how people were around me. I really don't. Um, like I said, when I first started listening to affirmations three, four years ago now, I remember going through that lesson of why is this so hard for me to change? Because I was just accustomed to thinking, well, you know, people suck. World's hard and life is difficult. And then I shift my mindset. I have all this affirmation saved to my channel and they're just other YouTubers. So just go look at it. It's on meditation, affirmation playlist and scroll through them. I still listen to them every morning to this day and listening to them as soon as you wake up shifts your mindset. It basically, it's like, um, what's the word? It's not predisposition. It basically sets you up for a good day because now your mind's already in that mindset of positivity. You're not waking up and thinking, well, Monday. You're waking up and being like, damn, yeah, I'm hot as freaking hell and I woke up today. This is awesome sauce. I get to crush it again. Checkmate. Kapowie. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're telling yourself some lies here and you're not receptive. The heart space isn't open because you're working from a king energy, which is masculine, which is builder, go, 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 burnout, right? Because you need to have the balance with the feminine, right? The receptive energy and it's in reverse. Both very cutting, you're very analytical up in the head space, your heart space isn't open. And look, she even face palming. She's like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, be confident in yourself. It's all gonna work out. Seven of wands, ha ha, the card of bravery followed by the queen of freaking cups. There you go, opening up your heart space. Very nice, very, very nice. Okay, you got some homework. Love yourself, nurture yourself, allow yourself to recognize these parts of yourself that you wanna change. They're not bad parts of you. They're just parts of you that were built to protect you, to keep you safe. That's what the ego does. They're not bad, they just wanna be loved. So just be like, hey, little young self, you're awesome. I got you here. Let me grab your hand. Let's go try that new thing over there. And they're gonna be like, oh my God, no, I'm scared. And you'll be like, no, seriously, like I got you. I'm your bodyguard. And you go do that new thing. Kapowie, checkmate. Okay. Leo, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know it was a little bit more of like lecture reading, but sorry, I'm not sorry. <laughs> it's just how I do things sometimes when need be. Like, share, subscribe if you want a personal reading or a Reiki session. Linked down below in my description box is my website, Patreon, all that jazz. And there's discounts on all those platforms. 
uh, or free readings on my Patreon. So I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.